you lovely viewers. I'll be doing something a little bit different, different subject for like YouTube video. I'm gonna go a little bit artsy for it soon. I'm gonna have a look at these crazy colours, multicoloured crayons. See that they're like uh, multiple colours of wax crayons and they've all been melted into a block. You get all these psychedelic effects. They look really cool. And uh, this was a photo, uh, there's a drawing, I've done it, that's my first attempt at demonstrating these. Um, yeah, that's, uh, I suppose it's green trees under a red and blue sunrise. Hmm. I, think, I think I managed to get some movement, some motion. It's got some dimension to it. I've never really, I've never really used wax crayons as a child. I generally preferred pencils, so I'm not really an expert on wax crayons. But someone bought these for me as a gift, because uh, people can be sweet like that. Um, yeah, they're called what colour wax crayons? It's six pack, and you get all these random colours in a block. And so, later that day, I decided to make something with them, and that was my first attempt. It was quite nice. So I could probably do another one. Uh, I'll find some paper that hasn't already been scribbled on. Which is kind of difficult, but... Okay, because I think we found something. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of an artsy fancy video today, because you know, I like gaming and stuff, but I've got so many different things in my life. Yeah. So yeah, we've got this one, which is yellow, dark green, and dark blue. Yellow with a fluorescent green, a medium green, and a light blue. And we've got a navy blue, a white, a pink, and a red, which reminds me a little bit of Seaside Nougat. We've got a crimson red, orange, navy blue, and green. We've got pink, navy blue, light blue, and medium green. And we've got black, white, and grey. So yeah, this is all uh, interesting. So this year, dark green. rather neat in it. 
or we could try doing something a little bit more swirly. So there's all these tones, you've got these blues and yellows and greens. camera hanging on the edge again a bit like my last bridge racer energy con video it's a bit funny in it I don't exactly learn I'm gonna use the light blue one I think it's, it has to be more interesting I'm not stoned or anything I just feel quite relaxed I think it was actually because I was really exhausted trying to get my brother's birthday card done in time. It's all very well, but I can assure you that I'm not stoned. I'm not, not rich enough to afford that kind of thing. I don't have a problem with that though. So we've got a little bit of a black mark there, and the reason for that, that black mark is because all the pieces tend to crumble off each other in these pots and they get stuck. So you see that pink bit there, that's probably going to get stuck onto the tip of this, so that can happen. I suggest that you actually check your crayons before you actually use them and dust any loose pieces off, like that. See that's a bit lighter compared to the dark green. It's quite remarkable, isn't it? So you get more yellow tones compared to more blue tones. To get more, you can just sort of do these dynamic lighting effects depending on how you choose to do your art. The dark one. And then we have this one.
you guys see that? For some reason, when they made this particular crayon in the pack, it was quite sealed, so this one has a tendency to crumble. All over my fingers. So yeah, you can get all these different sort of chunky textures as well. Depends on how you move the crowns across the paper. And finally we've got the grey, black and white one. Which is just that really. So, yeah. yeah, thank you for watching that. Enjoy the colours. Really good colours. Mm. Feel free to try some and see what they're like.